Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told, out of voice the radio. So today, we need to catch up on some news. There's been a bunch of little news stories, some new products have gone and been announced, there's a new promo. Some things have been spotted in the wild, so we need to go and have a little bit of a gander. Starting off with the Sonya Playmat set. I don't know. Let's call it that. It is a new box. And look, it's one of these things. If you are a huge fan of Sonya, you are probably going to think this is the bee's knees. If you are not a huge fan of Sonya, this is absolutely one of the more skippable things you will ever see. It's brilliant if you're a Sonya fan. And it's rubbish if you're not a Sonya fan. Now, this is one of these things whereby you don't actually get any cards in it. No cards, no boxes, no packs, no promos. It is very much an accessory set. So you get yourself a box with Sonya and she's kind of cuddling Yamper and tickling his belly and it's kind of adorable. We've then got a playmat. Now the playmat is the best here. That really shows the artwork off to its fullest. And you can see there that She's actually got a Yampa mug. And come on, I cannot be the only one that really wants that Yampa mug. And we've got a really fleshed out scene there. We've got sweets and cake. And even the cake's got a little Pokeball decoration and some Zamazenta. Kind of like part of the shield thing there rolling on, clearly on the top of the cake. You know, little touches like that are phenomenal. You know, a nod to Zamazenta on the top of the cake really does, I mean, take the biscuit to mix metaphors. And then it's just beautiful. The way it's all laid out. We then have the sleeves, which give us a snapshot of part of the scene there. Not the whole scene, really just focusing on her tickling Yampa's belly, which is obviously the most important part of it. And then we've got ourselves a deck box, again, with a kind of wraparound version of it. So in the box, you get your sleeves, your playmat, your deck box. Simple as that. Now, I have talked a number of times on this channel about the B set. One of my regrets in the Pokemon TCG is that I didn't pick this up. And I'm not entirely sure why, because B is the best gym leader from Gen 8. She's one of my favorite gym leaders. The artwork is new, bespoke, and awesome. And incidentally, right, while we're here, every time I'm talking about certain products and... Look, I'm very honest on this channel. It's one of the things I really pride myself on. So... I tell you when I think products are awesome, and I tell you when I think products are, frankly, not. And when I tell you about things like the Seaside playmat we saw the other day, or the Haunted Hallows playmat, which was very much the follow-up to it, I talked about them and I told you that basically what we've got here are just generic backgrounds with stock art of the Pokemon on them. And that's entirely true. That is literally what these products are. And then we compare it to something like this. And you've got absolutely stunning artwork, which has been commissioned and done perfectly just for this. Tell me they are in any way, shape or form, even remotely comparable. We could be getting things like this Sonya map, which, and incidentally, these maps do not tend to come out outside of Japan. And whereas Japan are getting those, we're getting these. It's not fair. Quite frankly, ladies and gentlemen, I'll be perfectly blunt about it. It's not fair. But if you are a fan of Sonya or you are a fan of Yampa, there's plenty of places to import these from. They can be picked up fairly easily. These products do not tend to be scalped like some of the more exciting things like Eevee Heroes. You know, that Eevee Heroes Espeon box was just... Yeah. I mean, picking that up for a reasonable price was ridiculous. This is not remotely the same. And honestly, I'm really glad there isn't a promo card in here. Because were there a promo card in here, this might be the kind of thing that everybody tried to scout for the promo. Because there is no promo, it means that we can just kind of chill and this box will be fairly easy to pick up. If, however, you are looking for a product which is more in your area, 
Do you have a target near you? The lovely McG underscore dad jokes, which incidentally is a great Twitter name, has gone and sent me pictures of these. Now, these are not the only place I've seen them, but I don't know. They sent me pictures yesterday and this is really convenient to use them. Plus, I was able to tweet and be like, hey, can I use the pictures? And they're like, yeah, do you want better pictures? And I'm like, I'm apparently too lazy to respond to that tweet. So these are the pictures we've got. And you will notice that they are Chilling Rain products and they are Waylord and Milotic one-pack blisters. Now, I've shown you the one-pack blisters from Chilling Rain. I've showed you the ones with the exclusive promos, those featuring your Fampy and more Pico. And I have shown you the ones that are your check lane blisters and have the entire evolution line. So you're your Blazerkin and your Decidueye. I haven't shown you these. And the reason I haven't shown you these is because we were never shown them. Essentially, I always show you the news as we get it. When products are revealed, I go and make a video about it. Simple as that. And I haven't shown you these yet. And the reason I haven't shown you them is because we haven't seen them. Now, to be clear, this isn't particularly weird. I've not been able to confirm this, but it is likely not confirmed. Likely that they are either exclusive to Target or they are only found in a couple of stores like Target and somewhere else. Now, this is very important because it means that they don't get sent out to distributors. A lot of the time, when we get product images and product news, it is either because distributors have put them up for pre-order or Pokemon are advertising them as distributors can put them up for pre-order. That is not the case with these. They are exclusive to one particular store, so we don't need them to be sent to distributors who can't order them and Pokemon don't tend to reveal them. Because there's no real need, they just pop up in shops. And it's why we get them revealed as just, hey, there is a whale or an low tech. The thing is, these products, and they are a Lugia coin as well, which I don't remember seeing elsewhere. The thing is, there's nothing special about these. Like, if you pick these up, don't open them. Seriously, don't open them. Do not open these products. Because whale or my low tech are just from previous sets. And they were hollows in those sets. So essentially, the second you open them, you've got an ordinary everyday run-of-the-mill booster pack from Chilling Rain and ordinary everyday run-of-the-mill cards from previous sets. There's no promo numbering here. There's no alternate artwork. They used to do these kind of products with a different holofoil pattern, but they don't do that anymore. So there is very literally... Nothing special about these the second you open them. As soon as they are opened, you might as well just have a couple of booster packs and random, not particularly sought after cards. These are cool, but they are cool to collect as sealed product. Please don't open these. There is no reason to do so. Unless you really cannot find Chilling Rain anywhere else. Or you really want Waylord and Milotic, but you can't be bothered to wait to buy them on eBay for pennies. Yeah. Don't, don't open these products. Incidentally, cool little fact here. We've got two different Lugia coins, but it is almost certainly that one of these is a misprint coin that is not supposed to look like that. So, yeah. That's kind of cool, right? And finally, just as a, a little ending here, we do have a new Flapple promo, which has gone and been revealed. Now, it is coming in this month's Koro Koro magazine, and it's been partially revealed. Now, I think this magazine's appearing at my house today. Yes, I'm that level of nerd. So, hopefully, there might be some more news. <laughs> if it is... um. If it is delivered to my house before I upload this video, I will fill in how much HP it has. Because that's all we need here. Now, we do actually have a dragon Pokemon. It is the first ever dragon Flapple. Would be a sensible thing to say, except actually we've already had Flapple revealed from Sword and Shield 7. Now, having said that, that is not out yet. And this is... So maybe this is the first ever Dragon Flapple, even though it's the second one revealed. I'm going to let you guys figure that one out yourselves. Now, one Fire Energy, it lets you attach up to three basic energy cards in your discard pile to one of your Pokemon. Shout out to 2New1223 for our translation here. And I like this 
but also this is a stage one Pokemon. Give this to me for a single energy on a basic. We are talking, but give this to me on a stage one Pokemon. I am not, shall we say, anywhere near as impressed. One grass, one fire, 70 damage plus burn. Again, this is fine, but I don't think it's good enough for a stage one Pokemon. And that makes me just a little bit sad. This is pretty much guaranteed to be a one or a three pack blister when it comes out over here. Because... Well, that's how these always come out. Occasionally, they end up in special sets. But for instance, that Snorlax that was a three-pack blister promo was a previous Korokoro promo. And in fact, the last Korokoro promo was the Ice Q, which has been confirmed as coming as a three-pack blister promo for Evolving Skies. So expect this to be a three-pack blister promo for whatever Sword and Shield 8 is if we're not getting too ahead of ourselves. Not the most playable card ever, but it's beautiful, and for some reason, I've not been ordering Korokoro when these have been in them. Incidentally, Korokoro tends to be really easy to pick up months later, unless they have a Pokemon promo when it tends to sell out moderately quickly. So, I don't know. Maybe this is the start of a beautiful friendship, or maybe it's the only time I do this. Who knows? For now, I want to know what you think about the Sonya box, what you think about those new blister packs, and what you think about this flapple. So go nuts in the comment section, but be nice! And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash ptcg radio if you want to support the channel get some bonus podcasts and all that good stuff head on over to patreon.com slash ptcg radio where you can do exactly that but by far the most important thing as always look after yourselves till next time would ya thank you very much for watching my name's ross and you've been watching ptcg radio